Elman reporting for Katie Chats. You're at Bruges Army Mingle for a Mission in downtown Toronto with actors Paul Amos and Rick Howland. How does it feel here to be here at Mingle for a Mission tonight? It's great. Um, it's a, a really great cause and uh, we got a huge turnout and uh, it seems like we've raised quite a bit of money which is a fantastic thing for the you know rehab for kids. I, I was a disabled child and uh, but still a disabled, just not a child still anymore. A child, yeah. uh, I got older, um, as opposed to growing up. You're supposed to laugh at that. <laughs> um, but uh, oh, I didn't yeah. realize I was the laugh track. Yeah, you oh, are. Okay. Well, you know the, you I'm know, the, the support. Canned laughter. The support. Ah, ah, ah. There you go. There, there you go. go. Uh, yeah. So I think it's a it's an awesome cause and uh, to help any any little kid to get stronger, get healthier, overcome the the hurdles that exist for people with disabilities is a great thing. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, any any chance to do anything for you know a good cause, specifically with kids. When you ha when you become a father like I am, and my daughter's two and a half, who's actually running around you a while tonight, um, you know you really start to feel you know what it what it means for sort of kids and for kids with troubles and disabilities. It's really harsh on the parents, and it's difficult. So it's wonderful to contribute in some capacity, you know, leveraging whatever it is that we do. You know, the crazy fantasy sci-fi world <laughs> is helping these young children. Yeah. Uh, that's a good thing. What do you think of the concept of combining, mingling with your colleagues and friends, and supporting a great cause at the same time? I think that's a pretty unique idea. I think Amanda's done a really cool thing. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes people just want your time and, you know, you turn up. But this is great. I mean, I'm seeing people I haven't seen for a while, really good friends in other shows that you don't get to see because everybody's so busy. Um, and we're all hanging out with fans and that's kind of nice. Um, but you don't get to do in this sort of setting. Usually it's in a convention setting where, you know, there's a very much a barrier between you and the fans. So this, this is nice. It's contained and it's, uh, it's really, I think it's really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All those things that he just said. Uh, it's an intimate thing, and you get to see friends that you don't get to see regularly because everyone's somewhere else. And uh, yeah, and it's it's great to see the fans that we've seen many times at different events to actually come again and donate money and their time to be here. It's a fantastic thing. It'd be awesome if I didn't have to see the other people from Law School again because like I see them every day. Yeah. <laughs> And you guys have been on Lost Girl, which has a huge fan following. What has been the best part of that experience? Of the fan following part or the shooting part? Of both, of being on Lost Girl well, and the whole thing. Um, well, I mean, the set alone, working on, on the set with this, with our crew and this cast, uh, it's, they're the greatest. I mean, we're, we are like a family. I mean, you know, it's just a fantastic experience. The show's a lot of fun to do and I think that translates onto the camera which is why I think there's that such strong support for the show um, and yeah. the fans are yeah they're just fantastic they're so there for us you know so I, I think I think what translates is that the fact that the cast and it, uh, you know the whole production team involved in it, it everybody knows their jobs really well everyone's really good at what they do everyone is very very uh, supportive of everyone else yeah. and I think it sort of bleeds through into the fans I think the fans that we have are really really nice considerate fans like yeah. you see them out like you know, there are all kinds of fans, you know, and some are just too intense, some are you know, not intense at all, and they make you feel awful. Um, but uh, I, I. Want I, me more, I is what, he's, is what more. he's saying. My narcissism needs feeding. Feed me. <laughs> but I, I find they're very respectful, and um, they just really love the show. And I think there's so many great issues in the show as well that we deal with, and some of those people are just really happy to see those things on television, even if it's in like a sci fi setting, you know? So, uh, yeah, it's cool. It's yeah, I know. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And what is the importance of Canadian film and television to each in, to each of you? Uh, well, I think it's very important. I mean, as a born a born in Kingston, raised there, and have moved to Toronto, um, I, I would like to stay in my country, and I would like to see film and television and media in general for Canadians to survive and thrive. And uh, I've been through all of the different periods of our 
ups and downs of this industry in the last several years. And, um, you know, it's been hard and uh, at times, and, uh, but uh, it's, 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 I think it's really important that we support the young filmmakers and the, the next generation of TV makers. And, and we're all doing it now. Like, you know, with an, you can make a feature film with an iPhone if you want to. So it's possible and it's possible for everyone. And I think it's a, a fantastic thing. And I think Canada just has to keep pace, keep pace with the, with the way the media is developing and, and let's keep, keep moving forward. Because I think Canada has enormous talent. We've got great actors, we've got fantastic comedians and, and directors and writers and producers uh, and crew. We have the best crews in the world. And I mean, you know, people come here to make television and film. So we just need, we just need to make our own. Yeah, I sort of kind of see it as really a stepping stone to LA. You know, I'm just, I'm here, I'm, I'm passing through. Um, I'm using everything that you have available to me so that I can maybe get seen in Los Angeles. Okay. That's because he's British. <laughs> yeah. Britain didn't want me, so yeah, I came so, to Canada. They yeah, took me in, but I won't be here for long. Now you're dissing <laughs> Canada when they op opened arms, bring you in, and then you just, pa -pa. Yeah, sure. yeah. No, no. I'm Actually, gonna make a fake phone call from LA at the end of this party, and we'll see where his loyalties lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely. Points if I get a chance to go down there, I'm gonna go down there, and I'll, no. you know, okay. I'm just gonna say it. If I get a chance to make a billion dollars, I'm gonna come back and make film up here. Yeah. So that's what I would do, and uh, I've been saying that for over a decade, and so I'll stick to that. No, I, I Canadian Canadian film and TV is great. I mean, there's so much, and there's a lot happening right now. You know, grassroots. There's a lot of people really trying to keep the talent here as well. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of people moving here as well from other countries, and I think they're very accepting of other talents, and and that's a real positive thing. And uh, the the more they they keep that multicultural sort of acceptance of everything that Canada is and everything that's coming in, and maintaining what is here. I think this could be a really, really exciting place. Exactly. Everything is here for it to uh, really propel itself, you know, as the as yeah. LA. It may as well be. I go to LA as a stepping stone to get to Toronto. Can you imagine hearing that one day? <laughs> well, they used to call it uh, what uh, Hollywood North. They did for a short period of time, and I'd like to take that. I'd like to see that happen again. And then a couple of people got sick, and everyone wore masks. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And where's the Not best? Not even everyone. A couple of people no, wore like masks. People. Yeah. And, and but it was everybody. Oh, it was everybody. Anyway. And where's the best place to follow each of you online? Uh, well, Twitter, I guess, yeah. would probably be the, the the best place. Yeah, we're Twitter addicts. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's like you know. We're hooked. And your Twitter uh, uh, handles are uh, at Rick underscore Howland. Perfect. And mine's at Paul Roger Amos. Thank you. You know what that means in Britain? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, and have an amazing time mingling this evening. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here at Bruges Army Mingle for a Mission in downtown Toronto.